Ladies and gents, health and safety. There's only one way in, and that's it. But don't worry, you're all steerage, so you're all going to drown. So, there's no way in, that's it. You're all locked in, folks. Nice to be here. Now, folks, the good news is um, it's nice and calm out there at the moment, but by half ten, there's a gale force nine coming in. Has anyone here ever had the privilege of being seasick? You know what it's like then. It's absolutely horrendous, so it is. So trust me, at half ten, you'll all be wanting out that door as fast as possible. If the music doesn't put you out, trust me, the gale force winds will. We're going to introduce you to a gentleman who's known all over the world. Tonight we're celebrating our new CD made in Belfast. And this gentleman is known all over the world. He's one of the founder members of the Titanic Society in Belfast. Woo! And his name is Mr. Stephen Cameron. Put your hands together for Stephen, please. about this CD and about this launch and asked me would I consider coming along and doing a few words of introduction before the songs and I said yes I would be interested in that. He then sent me the CD and on listening to the songs that you're going to hear later on tonight I was totally hooked by these songs and I'm really delighted and I'm honoured and privileged to be here to play some small part in the launch of this CD tonight and I wish you all the very very best with this song. bought a small yard in Queen's Island in 1858 from a gentleman called Robert Hickson. Gustav Wolf later joined him and was made a full partner in the shipyard in 1861. After their deaths, the yard continued under different management and by 2003 they had built over 1,700 ships, including all the vessels for the White Star Line and their Olympic class ships as well. At one stage, the shipyard employed over 30,000 men and somebody claimed that only half of them did any work. <laughs> but this and their efforts made this East Belfast shipyard not only the biggest shipyard in the world, but the one that would make the finest ships in the world. The song, Harland and Wolf. short 
this clearly is seen. A huge modern dry dock, it had to be built in order to build great ships for the world. To handle the tonnage, new cranes were installed. Goliath and Samson, the largest of all. And now to the future, we proudly must look. And with a look I say, to Ireland and we'll sail away. We're sailing from Ireland and Wolf today. Sail away, sail away. We're sailing from Ireland and Wolf today. We're sailing from Ireland and Wolf.